Hello there and welcome. I'm Ole Brugger and if you're new here, I hope I will earn your subscription today. In this video, I will build a camp. We, we all need a camp when we are playing a game and need our long rests and the party could be attacked during the night. So we need a scenario for that. I already printed some tents and they look okay, but I really want to make my own. So I got some uh, bed sheets uh, that is uh, torn up. I think uh, this will be useful. Otherwise we might use some paper towel or something. And for the base camp, I'll use this army painter foam board uh, and we'll make a base camp, which is 15 by 15 inches. I also printed out some bed rollers. Yeah, I like these. They just need some paint. And I also printed a campfire. So why don't we just get started? First, I will put the two parts of foam together, which are going to be the base, which is 15 by 15 inches. I use a couple of toothpicks just to make it a bit more solid. And then I put some PVA glue and set it for dry. While the brace dries, I will make some tents. I have this piece of balsa wood and I'm very inspired by the 3D printed tents. So I cut up some sticks to make them a bit smaller and use some super glue to put them together. And this was a total fail. Everything broke when I tried to glue it together. So I had to come up with a new idea. Matchsticks. I don't know why I didn't come up with this idea from the start. I don't even have to cut them to size. They had the perfect length and the color was also nice. So maybe I don't even need to paint them. I also used a piece of string and wrapped it around the tent poster so they would look a bit like rope. I gave it a drop of super glue just to make sure that it would stay. I made three tent frames and started to measure out how the cloth would fit. I cut up three similar pieces and started to mix some glue with water. I made a very thin solution so the cloth would soak it up easier. Then it was just trying to wrap it around all the sticks and attach it with some super glue. I didn't even use some activator because the cloth was wet of water and water is actually also some kind of activator for super glue. And the cloth just stuck right on the piece of wood. Then I will just let them set to dry. The tents are now dry and I will use some palette bone mixed with some speed paint medium to thin it down because I still want it to be white-ish. I will use my airbrush to apply the color. I think they still need some sort of weathering, so I will use this bony matter to make them a bit more dirty. I'll also use the bony matter with a brush on the ropes and on the edge of the tent, so it will look like the tent has been in some kind of muddy terrain or something. The giant tile is now dry, so now I can cut it up in 15 by 15 inches and start to put some decorations on it. I will even it out with some sandpaper and roughen up the surface so we can put some decorations on it. I'll also draw in some guidelines for a road and the campsite. I have some fine sand and some rough sand and I will use the fine sand for the road and the rough sand for the terrain and fine sand again for the campsite. I will pour up some PVA glue and spread it out with a brush and then it's just putting on the sand. First I let the rough sand dry and then pour the excess off and then repeat the process for the fine sand. I let it dry overnight and then I will just prime it with some wilderness and woodland from the Game Master. I also have some leftovers from the dungeon and subterrain and I will use that for the road and the campsite. I will use this chocolate brown with a light dry brush on the grass area and a bit heavier dry brushing on the campsite and the road. I will make some grassless dry areas with the summer undergrowth. I will make the spots with some thinned down PVA glue. I just use water in a 50-50 ratio. I will spread it out where I want all my grass. I use this battlefield grass from the army painter. I will also put on some grass in the middle of the road so it will look like there has been a lot of traffic with carriages and all that kind of stuff. Some Vallejo Israeli sand with a dry brush just to highlight the roads and the campsite. 
I found these decorative stones in the equivalent of an American $1 straw. They were dirt cheap, about converted, maybe one and a half, two dollars for this bottle. And I will use them to build a campfire. All 3D printed parts will need some primer. I will do the usual stuff, prime it with black, highlight with gray and dry brush with some white. I will give the bed rollers some different kind of color so they won't be totally alike. And I will just do a sloppy speed paint job. Just for the bucklers on the blanket holders, I will just use some fine gold. The campfire I will paint with some black and dark brown for the wood. And then I will start working up the colors with some bright yellow. Put on some orange and then some red and darker brown. And for the campfire itself, I will use some matte black just to give it some black sut. We are done. Our heroes have a well-deserved rest. Or have they? I think some goblins are maybe stealing their stuff during the night. Or maybe even attacking them. I have some plans to make some more giant tiles so I can maybe build some forests and terrain. And I also used these uh, cliffs that I built in an earlier video just to put on top as a decoration for this camp. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I really appreciate you being here. Please like and subscribe if you think I deserve it. And I will see you again soon with some more interesting videos. Goodbye for now.